Joining us now, Nirupama Rao, former Foreign Secretary and India's uh, former Ambassador to the United States. Uh, thanks, ma'am, very much for being with us. You also sit on the India Board of, of AIF. Now, you've interacted with the American India Foundation during, during your tenure as Ambassador. After that as well, tell us how organizations like AIF play such an important role in reaching out to people over here, particularly at times like this. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Vishnu and, and uh, Pranoy. It's wonderful to be on this uh, show and uh, so happy that NDTV is supporting this very worthy cause. Uh, in response to your question, I think relationships between democracies such as ours are built essentially on the people-to-people -people component. People are the lifeblood of this relationship. And therefore, when we talk about the current crisis involving migrant labor and the need to help these millions of people who've been dislodged, displaced, and had to you know, walk the roads of India in search of refuge and protection and security. I think every one of us is moved by that site and wants to help. We have to develop and discover the compassionate core within each and every one of us. So coming back to what the United States and India can do together at this time, I think the work of the American India Foundation very much epitomizes and essentially crystallizes what the meaning of this people-to-people -people relationship is about. Right. You have, of course, uh, worked. Thank you very much. Good to talk to you again. You, of course, worked a lot with Indians in America and their relationship with India. And uh, it, it's just wonderful to see the Indian diaspora in America come across the world and form this bridge and help out in this migrant crisis. So basically, you must have found in your life that you can take an Indian out of India, but you can't take India or their DNA out of an Indian. Isn't that wonderful? Exactly, Pranoy. And uh, when I traveled uh, the length and breadth of the United States when I was ambassador and had the opportunity to interact at every place I went with groups uh, from the Indian American community, and what struck me most was their sense of attachment, their sense of belonging, which had not been broken as far as India was concerned, and their sense of deep commitment and involvement. You know, the concepts of dana and seva are very much a part of our cultural traditions. And it's also very much a part of the American tradition. You know, within the United States of America, it's one of the most giving countries in the world. And there's a lot we can learn from the average individual American in this regard, despite all the troubles and the upheavals that have besieged that country in the recent past, especially. You know, when you think of the giving culture of Americans and when you think of the spirit of volunteerism, uh, which I feel we need to inculcate much more in this country, which is what Gandhiji spoke about. He essentially yes, yes. was a great votary of volunteerism. And we need right. to go out there when we see these scenes of suffering, I think more than just fe be, uh, feeling right. moved about it or engaging yes. in debates in about fact, it, I think we have to yeah. do something about it. Yeah, in fact, actually, you know, in this whole uh, crisis, we found a lot of ordinary Indians coming forward and donating as long as they trust where the money goes is going to be used properly. That's very, very important, that factor of trust. Uh, it's amazing how people are coming forward. That's uh, heartening to see. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your experience. Thank now, you joining so much, us, Thank you, thank you.